Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Sternanator, but my friends call me Stern. And in honor of spooky season, today we're gonna to be doing something very exciting with Five Nights at Freddy's. We're gonna be going over your starters. You have your favorites, I have mine. One of us is right, one of us is wrong, it's probably you. But yeah, we're gonna be hopping right into these starters and I was so very excited to hop into this video today. Super pumped. And boy, was I wrong to be so. It wasn't long before time, energy, and technology were all very quickly turning against me, but that is definitely something we'll get to later in the video and definitely something that did not stop me. But with a lot of time to waste and nowhere to be, let's go ahead and hop right into our water starter. Naturally, I looked at all of the characters that I wanted to incorporate into our starters list. Well, the three that I wanted to incorporate into our starters list. Well, maybe the four that I wanted to incorporate into the starters list. And I wanted to start with our water type. Why? Because water type is one of the best starters. It goes grass type, water type, and then anything else. It doesn't matter. Fire? Who cares? So I hopped in with our water starter and I wanted to make it a Monty based starter. I wanted to go with our glam rocks using those as kind of the base because I haven't drawn those yet in these videos. True, I drew glam rock Chica in a previous video and I drew glam rock Bonnie in a previous video, but that kind of left three characters who I hadn't drawn yet, who all kind of fit a certain motif. So that's where we went. I was gonna use Monty as the water starter, I was gonna use Roxy as the grass starter, and I was gonna use uh, Glamrock Freddy as the fire starter. There are some obvious reasons behind those things that I will get into at some point, but not currently. I really wanted to get down the shapes and just kind of nail where I was going with the idea of this character. So I gave him these like rimmed eyes, which kind of signify the early form of the sunglasses that Monty wears. And I also wanted to give him this very big snappy jaw. I kind of based it loosely on the like whack and alligator games at some arcades, as well as those games where you put your hand in the alligator's mouth to try to knock down the teeth and eventually it's gonna bite down on someone. So I think that I got that pretty well. And as I went in with the line art, I decided I wanted to make him a little bit more proud. So I made him a little bit thinner, not quite as much of a round body and more of that slender body with the chest kind of pushed out to show just how prideful this Pokemon can be. Starters tend to have very big personalities to them, and I didn't want to stray anywhere away from that with this design. So this is our very proud and prideful Monty-based water starter. I knew where I wanted to go with the end. I wanted to kind of attach this to the ruin design where the kind of legs are missing and it's a little bit more rabid. So I started by kind of taking away the tail, making it a watery tail, as well as giving him that watery mohawk which kind of just becomes wild and crazy hair throughout the rest of this video. But I think that I'm okay with that. I think that it still works and it still feels like Monty. He just has that persona to him. So yeah, started doing that. It was about here that I started to notice that my drawing tablet was kind of freaking out on me. So whenever I draw a line, I'll use a pressure sensitivity. I'll keep it so that when I'm doing a little bit of pressure, it's a thinner line, a lot of pressure, it's a thicker line. I started to notice that that was cutting out. It was just doing a solid line no matter what. And that was kind of an issue. It makes it kind of difficult for me to kind of get the style that I like when that happens. And so it became an issue that I had to kind of address, but I didn't want to address it in the middle of the drawing. I like to do these kind of in one take. And so I, I knew that, okay, I've got to fix this, but I'm not going to fix it now. I really want to get this Monty design down and I'm really loving the direction that it's going. He feels so fun, so cute and so snappy. So I was like, okay, whatever happens, I just want to be able to get this design done. I don't want to stop in the middle. And that's where a lot of the problems started. <laughs> So here we have Gum Gator, the Chompy Pokemon. For the shiny, I wanted to use some more swampy type of colors, being that in Monty's lore, he does come from kind of the swamp or the Everglades type area. His stats really reflect that he is a first stage starter and his size very much so as well. So yeah, right now he's a pure water type and I'm pretty happy with that. It's probably one of my favorite little cutesy designs of the Five Nights at Freddy's team that I've done so far. So you're probably asking yourself, Stern, what happened with the tablet? Well, I went in, kind of messed with the wires, plugged in, unplugged a lot of stuff, just kind of messing around, seeing what I could do. Maybe my tablet as a whole had just become unplugged. Maybe the pen itself had become disjointed in the cord somewhere, got like a kink in the, in the cording. So I went in, kind of fixed all that just to see if maybe that would work. 
and then I hopped right into our next drawing, pretty satisfied that what I'd done helped. And very quickly, I discovered that it did not. I was running into the same issues. Uh, I probably got a good two, three minutes of everything being okay, which in the sped up version of this drawing looks like about two, three seconds. But I was really struggling. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was struggling hard. Uh, I wasn't able to draw the lines the way that I like. I wasn't able to even erase a lot of stuff. I kind of had to go in blind, just hoping that, okay, whatever lines that I draw, it's gonna take me a solid minute to erase them. It's gonna take me a solid minute to draw them. So I struggled through that and it's been an absolute nightmare. You can see me drawing a lot of these lines over and over with these weird gaps in between them. That's because the pen for some reason was deciding that I was lifting it even when I wasn't. So even doing a control Z to undo lines ended up being two or three or four or five clicks to undo a single line because it thought that I drew not one long line, but five small segments of line. It, yeah. Anyway, I started going into this design and I knew where I wanted to go with it. I wanted him to be kind of more ferocious, standing up and kind of have that adolescent type feel to him. I feel like a lot of middle stages have this. They're not perfect. They are just kind of the awkward middle stage of life. And so I wanted to get that in there. It feels a little awkward, feels a little clunky, but it definitely has some ideas of where it's gonna go. It has some promise. And so it's very much just a standing tall alligator, but where I wanted to make it kind of more fantastical in the design is I wanted it to have this, again, watery mohawk, just like we saw previously, but I wanted the watery tail to begin working its way up the body. So it kind of came up and created this almost coat type of feel. It, it, it almost feels very, uh, Rockstar-esque in the design. At least that's kind of what I was going for <laughs> in the midst of all of the issues that I was facing. So yeah, I, I was going with that and I like it a lot. Kind of one of the big struggles I had here was how to make it not feel like Crocolore and that whole line. Uh, it is a starter. It is an alligator or a crocodile or what have you. I'm aware they're different animals, but in a cartoony fashion, they tend to look very similar. And yeah, I also then realized, wait, don't we have a water crocodile alligator starter already with Fraligator, my favorite starter? I know I said I'm partial to grass, but Fraligator beats that every single time. And boy, I, I really just wanted to get to a spot where I didn't feel like I was mimicking either of those. And I'm hoping that the color of just your standard alligator and standard just Monty really allowed for this to feel its own. There I am kind of erasing these sections as I normally do with my shading process and having to do that a million times because what I do is I do a pass at 50% erasure uh, to kind of smooth those edges out a bit. But the problem with that is when I do it that way, I have to get it in one pass. I have to get it in one line. And as previously discussed, <laughs> doing things in one line is the biggest problem with this particular issue of the drawing tablet. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, nightmare, absolute nightmare. So here we have Irrigator, taking that other end of Monty or uh, Montgomery. So we had gum and now we have Airy, Montgomery. So Irrigator, the name is also a play on an irrigator which is used to kind of spray water. And so I kind of went with that geyser type aesthetic with him kind of rising up, jumping up like a geyser shoots water. Shiny, same type of thing, going for that swamp aesthetic, still a water type and his stats have kind of boosted now, again, to where we might find a middle stage. And I like using the size reference for middle stages to be almost like the kid brother type of size. And since turning it off and back on again didn't seem to work, I had to find a new way of going about fixing this. So I just went, reinstalled the firmware, made sure that I was updated, went through all of the Huey on Tablets website, making sure that I had all of my drivers in the proper order. It was nail biting. I, I wanted to get these done. I knew I wanted to get all three of the starters and all three of their forms finished for this video and I was already starting late. Luckily, I kind of had a backup plan. Our Discord server link down below has a ton of talented artists who've been doing fan art of some of the Pokemon designs that I've been playing with in this FNAF series, as well as some of our other series, and these guys are just insanely talented. I am blown away moment by moment, day by day, as this fan art comes through. So join down that community down below. I'm also gonna have linked the uh, different socials to these artists because phenomenal. 
I, I can't say it enough how just phenomenal this stuff is. It 100%, I'm flattered so much. I never thought that I'd get to the point where people were drawing fan art of the stuff that I created. And it just, it means so much to me. I, I want them to know that and I want you guys to know that as well. But hopping right back into the video, I still have a final form to do. Despite all of the setbacks, despite all of the weird, in conventional ways that I had to go about trying to do this, I knew at the very least I want to get one of these stages done. I still want to tackle Roxy, I still want to get through Freddy, but right now I'm on Montgomery Gator and that's kind of the best thing that I can hope for right now. So I went through, I knew that I wanted to expand on the ideas that were already brought into the previous forms. I wanted to give that mohawk kind of just bigger hair and I know that that is very much Crocolore's thing, having a big wild hair of fire. It was something I could not even think about at that moment because as I realized it, I thought the only answer is this. I have one of two options. I can start over knowing that each of these drawings is taking me three to four times longer at least than they normally do, already on a crunch for time, or I could say I'm okay with it. And I chose to be okay with it. I hope you are too because that's what it's gonna be. So I wanted to capture the idea of Monty after he loses his legs and we find him again in Ruin, taking that same concept and translating it into this Pokemon style. So in this style, I played with the idea of just him not having legs and just kind of floating, but it felt like that was taking away from the design and not building upon what was already there. So instead, what I did was I expanded that watery tail even further into the body to create it almost that most of the body is destroyed or gone uh, ruined, if you will, and using the water to make those appendages again. It gives off both the vibe that these appendages are gone, while also allowing us to continue that idea of that water kind of taking over the body. I also, if you hadn't noticed in the previous form, he had stars for eyes, but they were four-pointed stars, so now we're using those five-pointed stars. Just to further mimic the sunglasses that Montgomery Gator wears, who, by the way, is one of my favorite animatronics, I do not know why. I'm not partial to the big beefy animatronics. I think that he was kind of over the top when I first saw him and I was actually kind of annoyed at the personality that they gave him. But as I continued to play, I was like, I really, really like this character because he's a little annoying, a little much, but that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? So I felt, okay, if I don't like this character, that's purposeful. I can tell that they wanted to make him feel like a villain feel like an enemy and by Jove they did it. So I'm going in kind of sketching this guy out hoping for the best. Every now and then I'm able to get a little bit more control and I try to get as much done as I can when that happens but it was moment to moment. I might have 30 seconds of control over the pen in comparison to the next five to ten minutes of fighting this thing. I, I did not know what to do and I still do not know what to do. But like I said, I, I wanted to get this done. At the very least, I felt that I wanted to give you guys one of the starters. The others will come, and I had ideas for, wow, it'd be cool to do another Rotom form for this uh, world, and I thought about it. I actually was going to bed the night before this and thought, ooh, I have an idea for a Rotom form. I'm gonna base it on this, or I can base it on this, or I can base it on this, or I can base it on all of those. And I was very excited. I was gonna hop in and get those done, and then I had to be very choosy with what I decided to draw. So I landed on my favorite animatronic from Security Breach, which is Montgomery Gator. Sorry if that offends you. Tell me about it in the comments. Um, but yeah, as I'm going in, just kind of replacing a lot of the ideas of this character with this water concept, making that mohawk become this wild and crazy fringe of hair, and then just expanding that water over the legs to again, make it feel like they may not be there. So yeah, it's a design that I'm pretty happy with. I would like to kind of go back and revisit it once I have some more control because I did kind of play it safe with some of the posing, some of the shading and some of the coloring just because I didn't know how long this would take. I ended up staying up pretty late just to kind of get this guy done. And it was something that I didn't want to do staying up so late getting this done, but I wanted to give you something. So here he is as we finish up shading, doing the highlights, doing all that stuff. The water was fun to play with. I experimented a lot, especially knowing I'm probably not going to get the, the more complex water textures that I'm hoping for. 
So let's just kind of meet in the middle, do something that meets halfway, gets that water point across, and doesn't quite feel like official art, but may feel like something you might see on like a stand or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling here because I am so tired and because I have lost so much energy fighting this tablet, which is supposed to be my cohort in this whole drawing thing. So I, I'm probably gonna end up having to get a new one. I don't know, I, I had one more fix that I wanted to try before I got to that point. So we'll see how that works and what the end all be all is that. Who knows? Maybe I'm recording this and I fixed the whole thing after I finished recording and everything is fine, everything's hunky dory and we're gonna see a lot more cool stuff. All things are on the table, very excited for it. But regardless, I'm pretty happy with this Monty design. I, it gets a lot of the things that I wanted to get, gets a lot of the ideas that I wanted to get across and I don't know, I'm, I'm happy with them. This is Montigator, again, taking that Montgomery Gator and breaking up it across the name. So we had Gum Gator, Airy Gator, and now we have Monty Gator. Monty Gator is now a water fighting type, still that chompy Pokemon with that stat boost that makes him feel like a final form. Well, final form for now. I'll, I'll say that, I'll put that out into the world. Final form for now. His shiny has actually like super clear water to it, but also has that swampy texture color to the actual Pokemon. But Stern, what is your final solution to this whole drawing tablet problem? Well, I'll tell you. I ended up getting some new nubs off Amazon. These are the little tips that go in the pen and just fully replacing the one that was in there. I don't know why when I first bought this, it only came with the one, but I bought a pack of like 10 and I just swapped a new one in, hoping maybe this was the issue. Swapped that in, went back through, recalibrated everything, did a firmware update, turned off, turned back on again, checked all my plugs and that should fix it, right? wrong. Uh, tablet is gone. Tablet is very much dead in the water and I'm probably just going to end up having to get a new one. Hi, Stern from the future. We have flying cars now. Just coming in to let you know that we have a discord down below where you can find all of the fan art that you got to see today as well as just interact with some really cool people. I really don't know what the plan holds for the future as far as drawing stuff on the videos because I kind of had to do a whole drawing video without actually being able to draw. So I may end up making a quick run to the store, hoping that they have something or placing an order and waiting. We'll have to see, it'll be a whole process. But until then, it sounds a lot like you know where to find me and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Hopefully, possibly, maybe, very likely. I, everything's up in the air. Bye. facility should know about this, but I'm trusting you, Tattletail. That's why I sent you the tablet instead of them. So, I went back to the spot where I found the tablet, and it looks like that earthquake the other day may have jostled some stones loose. You've got to see this. Now, I'm no expert, but it looks like some kind of ritualistic site, probably built by the region's ancient people. It doesn't sit right with me, but I don't know. I'm hoping that you can figure out what all this means. Whether it's a warning, a prophecy, a prank, or something else entirely. Good luck, Tattletail. Keep me posted.